Hello all, Rick here with a quick bestiary on a strange little plant creature seen in the original series, the Weeper plant or Terrestrius Manus. While only appearing in one scene, it nonetheless has a little lore behind it added over the years. The plant is from Zeta Renticuli A in the Beta Quadrant, and it was approximately one and a half foot tall, not counting its root system, which was actually not that expansive. The reason for this is the fact that it can actually move around very slowly on its own, uprooting itself to move to a more suitable location. Placing it in a pot appears to be a rather effective way to curtail this, providing it doesn't grow too large. However, owners should be aware of this and feed it regularly or discover the cat basket suddenly empty. The roots, however, do act to siphon up water from the surrounding soil, but additionally serve to store the fluids it harvests if there is more than immediately required. There are also nodules that contain its reproductive parts and presumably it could leave these embedded in the ground when it moves on, leaving its bulbs behind to propagate. Don't be dirty minded there, you at the back. It has an outer shell of bark-like skin that acts as protection, effectively forming a trunk. Within this trunk was the softer plant stem which contained its innards. Foremost notably, this plant was carnivorous and could tackle and ingest small creatures to consume over time, much like a Venus flytrap considering it too can move. The trap part, not the whole plant, fortunately. The head of this flowering plant contains not only vibrant pink petals, suggestive of the need for attracting pollinating elements, but also spiny tendrils that are responsible for ensnaring its prey. It can extend and retract this flower head by manipulating a series of large sacs within its stem that it can expand and collapse in unison, giving it a hydraulic-like ability to turn, bend, extend and withdraw. Commonly it feeds on flying mammal creatures native to Zeta Reticuli akin to bats as well as any smaller critters that get too close to it. The plant itself had a nervous system but no central brain, like a jellyfish. And while it was not sapient in any capacity, it could respond to outside stimuli and recognise danger from comfort. For example, when a dangerous predator was nearby, it could quiver and emit a high-pitched chirping, thus alerting its surrounding kin to danger. It accomplished this by manipulating its internal stem to suck air in over growths that mimicked vocal cords producing the noise. This would imply it also had some form of auditory system in order to perceive the dangerous calls of other weepers. It's also worth noting that for it to snack upon such a variety of land and air based creatures, it either is able to actively ambush nearby meals or capable of luring prey to it. It's too slow to actively hunt even if it can move. If it's an ambush predator, then it can perceive the proximity of food. Alternatively, it could produce some desirable lure such as a scent, pollen, or even the bright flower as a way to attract prey into snaring range. Additionally, it seems to respond favourably to calming actions such as stroking and talking to it. It even produces a purr-like noise when petted. All this made the plant an incredibly unusual find, at least by Earth standards, as although its biology is undeniably that of a plant, it exhibits a strange amount of traits and behaviours in common with a living animal. In Apocrypha, a weeper named Beauregard, or Gertrude, was kept on the Enterprise to study and Sulu took a shine to it, eventually keeping a collection of plants on the Excelsior, prompted by his fascination of this particular plant. So that about covers the properties of the weeper plant, a one-off creature that was seen in the original series and was totally not just a sock puppet. Thank you for watching this bestiary and I'll see you again for another. <laughs> Goodbye.